Hello and welcome to Saving Grace Education. In Unit 4 of Grade 8 Life Orientation, we will be looking at environmental health issues. Environmental health comprises those aspects of human health, including quality of life, that are determined by physical, chemical, biological and psychosocial factors in the environment. It also refers to the theory and practice of assessing, correcting and controlling and preventing those factors in the environment that can potentially adversely affect the health of present and future generations. This is the definition of environmental health as defined by the World Health Organization. Any issues that has or may have a negative effect on human health is considered an environmental health problem. This needs to be assessed and monitored. This involves identifying potential environmental health risks by monitoring unsuitable housing, waste management, food control, water quality, controlling communicable diseases, pollution control, chemical safety and noise control, as well as malaria control, air quality control, and the control of hazardous substances. South Africa has a large number of people moving from rural areas to urban areas, and this causes a shortage in land and housing. Slow service delivery has resulted in many homes not having adequate supplies or availability of water, electricity, and proper sanitation. Climate change, globalization, poverty, and air pollution are important concerns for environmental health practitioners. Climate change is a challenge to health as it affects the quality of water and access to sufficient safe water around the world. Food production can be affected if there is less land suitable for growing food. Waste management is a major problem in both rural and urban areas. Landfill sites are filling up quickly and they are a potential health hazard. The rotting material produces large amounts of methane gas that is a major contributor to the greenhouse effect. Items that do not decompose, such as cans, bottles and plastic, take up a lot of space. These items should be recycled as much of this waste can be useful. Items that can be recycled will save the environment and you can earn money by recycling too. Go Green projects are set up to help save our environment. Many schools participate in these projects that encourage recycling and the growing of vegetables. Vegetable waste may be used to make compost to feed the soil in vegetable gardens. Growing our own vegetables helps us in many ways. For example, it saves us money by giving us fresh food and makes oxygen that cleans the air. The control of food quality includes the maintenance of health regulations in hotels, restaurants and even roadside vendors. Communicable diseases, that are diseases that are easily transmitted, are a problem throughout the world. Many children living in rural areas do not have adequate access to clinics and many are not immunized and are vulnerable to diseases like measles, German measles, polio and whooping cough. Mobile clinics that offer hearing and vision tests, blood pressure checks and immunizations visit these areas. Malaria is a disease that is carried by certain types of mosquitoes and is a problem in certain areas in South Africa. The government is spending vast sums of money on research and the control of malaria in South Africa. In KwaZulu-Natal, there has been an increase in the number, number of people dying from rabies. The provincial government has spent large sums of money on a campaign to inoculate dogs and cats in rural areas in an attempt to control rabies.
Have a look at these following pictures that depict environmental